All right, so I had to come to you today. So many people have been asking me that watch my live streams, that watch my my videos that I produce and things of that nature. You know, Earl, how do you get this amazing sound? Well, first I have to get credit to being a professional voice actor and understanding and knowing how to produce audio and process audio and things of that nature. But there are some things that can make this super simple and super easy. So let me just show you here. I got this piece of gear that is, I think, a game changer for anyone that does, whether you do audio podcasting, whether you do video live streams or, or just produce videos, and especially if you're a voiceover artist, this piece of gear right here, it's a DBX-286S, and it's plugged directly into my um, um, audio processor, which is a Presonus, but we're focusing in on the DBX-286S because it's going to work with any audio interface, basically like this. Um, you can use Presonus, you can use, you know, Scarlett, you know, Solo or 2i2 from Focusrite. Those things will work. But the thing that gives them the magic, the things that it, the thing that is giving me this rich tone in my voice is because I'm using the DBX-286S. Now, basically, it's real simple to set up because all you have to do, there's an output in the back of the DBS-286X, which then you just run a cable right into the mic input. The microphone that I'm using, which is a condenser mic, is plugged into the back of the DBX-286S. So that's where everything is running from. You'll notice that on my audio interface, all my knobs are turned to zero. Nothing is on. Everything is off because it is all of my voice and sound is being controlled exclusively by this bad boy right here. Now, I'm going to go through the buttons or the knobs rather left to right so that you kind of get a clear picture. Basically, what you want to do when you're setting this up, just have all the knobs turned to zero. Just have all the knobs turned to zero. You see mine are turned to different places. But I started off and I put my headphones on and I just started listening to my voice um, as I was speaking. So as you're doing this, obviously these buttons here that are lighting up, you're noticing that nothing is clipping, right? Nothing is clipping over here. I've just got a good sound quality going in because if it was all the way over to the red, obviously that's wrong. So I have mine set right up and down at uh, plus 30 dB. I'm using a condenser mic, so I'm using phantom power. That's why the phantom power button is off. Also, I have the high pass button on uh, because I want to get rid of those uh, lower end that no one hears anyway, and it just you know doesn't need to be there. Then we get over into, I'll come back to this um, process bypass at the end. So basically, this is the compressor that's here. So I have my compressor set to exactly where I want it as far as giving me the sound that I'm actually looking to get. And then the density is more so of the release. How fast are you releasing the compression that's going on? There are no buttons lighting up here because I have my compression set very low. The drive, which this is the drive button. This is the density button, which basically sets how fast it closes down. So you can tell, I mean, a little bit of this drive is a lot because I'm probably distorting right now as I'm turning this up. So I'm gonna, let me turn it back down to where it should be with that. But you wanna watch your lights so that depending on the microphone that you're using, it's not doing too much. So I just have mine set where I thought it should be set. You may wanna play with those buttons a little bit, right? So then we're coming over here to the de which is exactly what it sounds like. It takes the semblance out of your voice. You can see the lights lighting up here. I have it set at 4K. And then I have the threshold set pretty much at the top, at the top of the uh, top of the hour, if you want to call it that. Now, this part, the enhancer, you can play with these buttons here so that you can see it'll add maybe a little bit of richness to what it is that you're doing on the left and right sides. And again, as you're talking, you're just going button to button or knob to knob, making yourself sound better and better and better. And you will get it set to where you sound amazing, right? So then you have the in the expander gate, which is allowing or disallowing room noise to come in. I have mine set for the room that I'm in right now because this is where I do all my live streaming and everything else. And you can hear now there's probably a lot of room noise that's coming in. Now you probably just heard that room noise go away. So this is what you want to use that for. You can use this for room noise. 
if you're in an enclosed space and you know you're in a good solid vocal booth you may just want to use it for your breath sounds right so you'll have to set that and then the ratio you don't want to go any farther past two to one i have mine set two or three clicks before the two to one ratio and then the last knob here is the output which i have straight up and down at zero and again what I did with this whole thing is I just went knob by knob so that I could hear for myself exactly what this was doing for my voice. Now I said I was going to come back over here to the process bypass. What this process bypass button does when I turn it on is it turns everything off to the right. It basically, it stops all of the processing and all you're dealing with is the mic preamp. So if I turn that on, my voice probably sounds a bit different now because all we're dealing with is just the preamp. This is pretty much the same sound you would get if you were just using your audio interface. So when you can turn that off if you like, but turning it, excuse me, you can turn it on if you like. I just turned it off. So now you hear the tone and my voice and everything has switched around. This piece of gear is you know, whether you're brand new in voiceover, you're brand new to podcasting, you're brand new to video production or live streaming, this piece of gear is going to give you that rich buttery tone <laughs> that you're looking for to have in your audio, whether again, it's just audio podcasting or whether you're doing live streams and videos, it's going to make your audio pop and you're going to stand out from the crowd most definitely. I want you to go ahead, get this piece of gear if you don't have it. There's going to be links, obviously, in the description to get this piece of gear. And I'm telling you, having this is going to be a game changer. If you've been wondering, and it's, let's just talk about voiceover artists here for a minute, where you're doing all of this post-processing because you don't have something like a DBX-286S, and you're trying to take out semblance, you're trying to take out background noise, you're trying to do this and you're trying to do that, you're trying to add some more compression into what it is that you're doing you can set it so that it is the way that you want it when you get it into your DAW, when you get it into your DAW and it's ready to go with minimal processing left to do. It's just one of those pieces of gear and it's, it's under 150 bucks for the piece of gear. So it's not going to break the bank. Go ahead and grab one. Now, if you've got any questions, you can go ahead and leave them for me and I'll be sure to answer. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful. You take care.